Connie Heerman has been teaching school in Indiana for 27 years, but because she used this book in her English class, she's been kicked out. It's your feeling they were banning the book? Yes. The book is called The Freedom Writer's Diary, a collection of journals by inner city teenagers in California. It became a motion picture last year, with Hillary Swank playing the real life teacher who convinced the kids to write. My name is Erin Gruel. Welcome to Freshman English. <laughs> I get this bitch a week. The movie and the book are sometimes graphic and crude, but also inspirational. Almost all the students went from the ghetto to college. This is the real Aaron Gruel. A teacher has never been removed from a classroom, suspended and or terminated for using our book. So this, is the, this is the first case. Gruel traveled to Indiana and testified before the Perry Township School Board about how the writing program turned kids' lives around. But the board was not swayed. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Connie Heerman was suspended for a year and a half without pay. They come to know through reading and through literature that they're not alone in the problems that they face. That's the beauty of the book. Her union says this is censorship, a violation of the First Amendment. This is not the American way. The school board feels the language is very inappropriate. The people who know this school district, who live in this community, who are elected by the voters of this community, looked at this content and said that it will do more harm than good. Your fat blank don't need to be eating blank. Then it says, blank was the first word that came to mind when I saw those stupid mother blanks coming toward me today after school. And that's some pretty graphic language for kids, right? That's the way they talk. But the adults that teach kids that function as a role model for kids don't talk like that. And if they do, they need their head examined because they're terrible role models for those kids. The board says Heerman is out because she was insubordinate, that she was told she could not use the book. Heerman says for three months nobody would make a decision, so she sent 150 permission slips home. How many parents agreed that it was okay for their kids to read the book? 149. So in this high school classroom, Heerman passed out the book. That day, she received an email from her superior saying you must take the books back. They were reading, they were engaged. And then I read that email again. And I looked at my students, and I decided, I want them to read this book. So I did nothing. I allowed them to keep the book. That's when the school took action. Many students at Perry Meridian High are bussed in from poor, often dangerous neighborhoods. Tasha Watley says she got the book and did not give it back. It was just more fun when Ms. Hammer was there. She gave us excitement for English class. And you don't feel you have that excitement anymore? No. Gloria Watley is Tasha's mother. If the parents are okay with it, then it should be all right because uh, it's a good story and it helps kids. I can't see how this would have made kids worse kids and it could have made them a lot better. And does that trouble you at all? No, what troubles me is that Connie Hearman made a conscious choice to send our children a a very poor message in that if you're told no, do it anyway. If it feels good, do it. Ironically, you can find the Freedom Writers Diary in Perry Meridian School Library. The administration says there is a lesser standard for library books than for textbooks. Connie Heerman will be allowed to come back to work here in September 2009. Her attitude about her return will not amuse the school board. I will not go back into the classroom unless I am allowed to use that book. Her return may not be pretty. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Indianapolis.